Hi there, so I have some new content for you that has been added since I originally published this course. And so what I want to talk about is a feature in Microsoft Flow that's currently only available in Microsoft Flow that's as of August 2019. And that feature is Copy to My Clipboard. And what this allows you to do is to copy frequently used actions or even scopes that you can then go ahead and paste in other areas of your flow and actually reuse this. And so what I do wanna do is I wanna show you this in action because once I do that, I think it really emphasizes why this is such a, a useful and needed feature. Okay, we're in Microsoft Flow and we're essentially gonna reuse the approval example that we had leveraged earlier in this course. Now, as you may recall, it's a very simple expense tracker SharePoint list where we capture information about the expense and we capture the state. Is it pending approval? Is it approved or has it been rejected? And here's the flow that we have. And this flow is essentially built based upon a template that's part of the template gallery. And what we want to do is when we receive the new request, from the SharePoint list, we want to then go ahead and update that SharePoint list and mark the expense state as pending. Now, once we've done that, that's essentially our audit log. We want then want to go ahead and start an approval. And depending upon whether or not the approval was approved or rejected, we want to update that SharePoint list to reflect the state of the approval itself. Now, we could go ahead and recreate this update item multiple times in the if yes lane and the if no lane, but that's not a whole lot of fun doing that work. We would otherwise have to go and find our site address, our list name, provide the ID and title dynamic content. But now we can simply go ahead and click on copy to my clipboard. Then we can scroll down, click on the plus sign, click on add an action. Then we can click on my clipboard and then we'll see this update item. Now I do have two in here because I was practicing and I had previously copied that, that action. So that's why we see two here. You should only see one. So we can go ahead and click on that action. Naturally we can go ahead and rename this action, which I would recommend. We can just say approved. And then what we want to do is we want to change the expense state from pending because now we do know that it has been approved. So let's go ahead and update that to indicate approved. And so this is a time saver. We don't actually have to go ahead and select our address, list name, etc. So that's the approved side. Let's now go ahead and click on add an action on the rejected side. Once again, we can go to the clipboard. We still have our items there. Let's just rename this action just to reflect that it's in fact rejected then let's go and update the expense state and that's it we can just go ahead and click on save now it is asking me to provide an assign to so that's fair and that's it so the error that I did get wasn't related to the copy paste. It was essentially related to the fact that I had provisioned this flow using a template and naturally it wants an assigned to value inputted. So that's, that's all good. But hopefully you see the value in this particular feature. It is a time saver, especially in these SharePoint scenarios where you do need to update a list and chances are if you're updating it once, you're going to be updating it multiple times depending upon the logic that exists in your workflow. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that and we'll catch you in the next lecture.